Hi, I'm the lockpicking Cuba and I have a mystery package. It's a mystery to me anyway because I have no idea what's inside it. So let's have a look. Is this right? Yeah. Didn't realize these were going to be coming. So this was a Kickstarter project that I backed. Oh, I don't know how long ago. Probably years ago now, I think. Um, and these are dice, and they're made of individual specific elements. This one is apparently solid silver. These ones are plated: gold, silver, platinum, and rhodium. These ones, I think, are solid. Titanium, magnesium, nickel, and bismuth. Good grief, I've got a lot of these. <laughs> What's this? Iron, zinc, copper, and aluminium. Is a tungsten one? Wow, that's cool. Is that solid tungsten? Let's see, and then this one, a whole bunch of them. Carbon, cobalt, chromium, zirconium, gadolinium, cadmium, yttrium, molybdenum, molybdenum niobium, and lead. Wow. Okay, so these are going to change colour over time naturally as they react with the water and the air. I like the idea that they say, how cool is that? You often get products that will say things like, you know, this product will naturally change colour over time. Don't worry, it's meant to do that, but here they make it into a feature. It's a cool aspect of these products that they actually react with your environment. And I think I agree with that. These are meant to be elements, not just beautiful objects, but scientific objects. Okay. Get into these. We'll look at this box. Okay. All right, look at this. Collect all the elements. Yeah, I think I might have quite a lot of them here. There's a. Uh, all right, I see. So you get some instructions for games you can play with dice. That's quite nice. And then here are the dice themselves in a pretty nice case. I know they've also made a um, plastic, clear plastic display case laid out like the periodic table and you can slot all your elements in as you get them. I don't know how many elements they'll be able to do. They'll run out at some point. Oh, and this is very cool. So they have the atomic number, the atomic mass, and then the number of electrons in each shell. So this could be a, a tool for my kids to use to learn chemistry at school. I want to get them out, but I don't want to damage them. They're very tightly held in place. How do I get these out? Okay, kind of coming. There it comes. Let's see how these numbers work. I see. So the number one side is the one that has the uh, element details on it chromium in this case. And then the other sides are all indented with normal dice dots to make numbers. They're laid out the right way, right? Yeah, so four opposite three, six opposite one, and two opposite five, so they add up to seven. This is, not surprisingly, given that it's chromium, very heavy. Okay, so I'm going to get them all out, and then I'll show you what I have. So that's all the ones from this first box, and I'll get all the other ones out. Uh, I've put them in their periodic table order, I think. Notice that with, um, is, this, is that yttrium? Yeah, yttrium uh, has this really interesting patterning and structure to it. There was a bit of back and forth through the Kickstarter um, program about whether people would like them to find a way to make them more polished and smooth, or just go with how they came out and I think we pretty much unanimously voted we'd like them to uh, be natural. So you get ones like chromium, which as we'd expect are super polished and look like what we think of as chrome. Um, and then yttrium at the sort of other end of the spectrum where it looks pretty rough, it feels rough. You could definitely tell which one that was by feeling it. The other thing of course is the difference in weight. So the carbon one feels almost like, I don't know, hollow plastic or something really, really light and the lead one, not surprisingly, much, much heavier. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of them out.
Oh no, these ones are the plated ones. I don't know if they're actually made up inside. But we've got platinum, gold, rhodium, and silver again. So to remember how to keep the two silvers distinguished from each other. What's the difference? I mean they weigh. I don't know, they feel like they weigh the same to me. The solid silver one has this kind of um, a different texture inside the letters. I'll just have to remember that. <coughs> it goes there. Rhodium. 45. Platinum. Oh yeah, you can really feel the difference. The platinum one is way lighter than the tungsten one. So that's because it's something else inside. I wonder what it is. Iron maybe. I guess I could figure it out, <coughs> potentially. Last box. dice games with these guys. Uh, that seems like the wrong way to use them. I can definitely see them as just being a nice display object and also an educational one. So there we go. It's a whole bunch of element dice. Um, so like I say, I got these on a Kickstarter. I don't know if uh, they're available um, outside of that yet. Elementdice.com I guess is where you go to find out to that below. Um, and the other thing I don't know is what's the, what the plated ones are actually made of. It doesn't say. They're all very beautiful. The copper one is uh, somehow the most beautiful. I have a soft spot for copper, I guess. Um, to be honest, the plated ones, I know they are really platinum and gold so shiny they sort of feel fake almost <laughs> rather than real and the same with this silver one That's, obviously this is going to tarnish and it won't take too long it is interesting how you can really see the difference between silver and platinum just a different kind of reflectivity so there we go if you've ever wondered what a whole bunch of metals from the periodic table plus carbon are the rest all metals yeah yeah, carbon's the only non-metal. So solids then. Have you ever wondered what a whole bunch of solids uh, elements look like? Here they are. I'll just uh, move in there, give you a little bit of a better view. These are all beautiful. I mean, I haven't found any with any flaws on them, um, other than what I think of as the natural flaws that you expect from the material that they're working with. in densities is really fascinating to feel. Actually, the copper one feels heavier to me than the zinc one, that's strange. Hmm. But you can really feel the difference at the, uh, the uh, <coughs> extremes. Magnesium and lead, yeah. Aluminium and, well, whatever that is. Tungsten, oh, yeah, that is really heavy. Tungsten's certainly the heaviest. So there we go. Not my usual thing. I didn't know what was coming when I opened that package, um, but something fascinating. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.